And good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to this Wednesday afternoon, the hump day edition of whiteboard weather on this 27th day of May. Hope you're having a great day. Thanks. Really, honestly, thanks for joining me this afternoon. Another nice, warm, summer-like afternoon. A little breezy, but not too shabby. Dry. And that's not going to be the case in the next couple of days. Now, in all honesty, the next couple of days will not be washouts, but they both will include at least the opportunity for some showers at times. And I'll give you my timing coming up momentarily. Thank you to Skip and Jeff for providing the background music and the whiteboard weather theme song. Skip and Jeff, of course, of Good Brother Earl, a longtime favorite of whiteboard weather. Um, before we get into the weather information for today, I do want to make a quick note uh, for those of you that may have, in the last four to six weeks, ordered some type of merchandise from the Whiteboard Weather, Pittsburgh Weather Now shop. Uh, good news is um, things are moving along again. So if you have not yet received your merchandise, I know you've been patient. I'm going to ask you to continue to be patient because I did get some good news that orders are now uh, being processed more expeditiously. Uh, products are being manufactured in a more timely fashion, so things are moving again. So uh, hopefully you'll have um, what you ordered sooner rather than later. And in the chance that you ordered something that perhaps may be not available anymore because the manufacturer had some issues, you will be refunded your money. So just FYI, I want to get that out there uh, in the event that you've been scratching your head saying, hey, I ordered a Whiteboard Weather t-shirt and haven't got it yet. It's coming. It's coming. Be patient. Thank you. Um, it is Wednesday afternoon, and every Wednesday afternoon, we have been sponsored by and continue to be sponsored by my friends at Hello Bistro. They have seven locations across southwestern Pennsylvania from the downtown area, which the Oakland has a whiteboard, or I'm sure <laughs> has a Hello Bistro, the south side. And downtown, also in McCandless, the Village of Pine, Upper St. Clair, and Monroeville, to name a few places where you can find a Hello Bistro. They have signature salads, build your own salads, as well as burgers for everyone. And they can fill your order in a number of ways. You can order online or through the mobile app. You can walk into a Hello Bistro and you can take your food out, or they can deliver it right to your front door. So takeout and delivery always available. It's hello to go for your salads and burgers. And just for whiteboard weather watchers and supporters, there is a special coupon code that you can use any day and every day now through June the 6th. When you check out online or through the mobile app, use the coupon code weather and you will get $3 off of your order of $10 or more. So that's a nice little savings for some delicious food. Again, the coupon code is weather. You can use it any day between now and June the 6th or multiple days between now and June the 6th. It is Hello Bistro. They are burgers. They are salads. They are delicious. And there are seven locations throughout the area for takeout and delivery. Hello Bistro dot com is the website so get some delicious food sooner rather than later and again don't forget to use that coupon code weather here's a look at your weather right now partly sunny skies across most of the area some filtered sunshine we talked about it this morning temperatures inching their way into the low 80s with again a little bit of a southeast breeze at about 12 to 15 miles per hour we'll stay dry through this evening. So if you want to get out between now and sunset, which occurs at 840, you will have all of this evening will be dry. The rain chance doesn't return until late tonight after midnight. And that will come from 
this area of low pressure, which was a weak tropical storm. It's really just an area of low pressure, to be quite honest, uh, that's going to be tracking up through Virginia and West Virginia. In the process, it will throw some moisture in our direction late tonight, and I think mainly tomorrow morning. This is 8 o'clock on your Thursday morning. That low is down here and through West Virginia. A funnel of moisture, a lot of which is going to be towards central and eastern parts of Pennsylvania, but we're going to get uh, probably a decent soaking of a quarter to a half of an inch of rain here, mainly late tonight and tomorrow morning. I think in the afternoon, that wave of low pressure opens up and I think it starts to weaken. So I think there's gonna be a, a break in the action, a break in the rainfall. This is tomorrow afternoon and evening before this next front inches in our direction on Friday. That'll bring with it another round of some rain showers, which looks to be mainly probably Friday afternoon with the approach and passage of that cool front, which will bring behind it some cooler and drier weather for the weekend. Did I mention cooler, more refreshing? Saturday and on Sunday. As we head into the month of June, just a little FYI, your long range outlook. And this is for June 3rd through the 9th. So about the first 10 days of the month, you can see temperatures uh, above average across a good chunk, two thirds of the country. That would include us um, all the way back to the Rocky Mountains, likely going to be above average. And how about precipitation? Look at that big B and the, the sort of the, the toper, what do you call that, tan colors? That is below average precipitation across pretty much the eastern half of the country. That is a good signal that there'll be high pressure across the eastern half of the country with above normal temperatures and below normal precipitation. So right now it looks like a warm but dry start to the month of June. Did I mention that would be good pool weather? Hmm. If only there were some pools to go to. Anyway, and kids are going to be out of school. Most kids are going to be out of school probably in the next week. Or at least homeschool. You know what I mean. All right. Uh, before we get over to the whiteboard, I gave you the maps. I'll give you the info momentarily. Let's break down a few birthdays today. You or someone you know, celebrating today with Adam Carolla, comedian and actor, Rachel Carson, the well-known conservationist from years gone by, but she has that trail named after her that runs through southwestern Pennsylvania. And um, she was actually born in Springdale. I did not know that, looked it up, but she was born in Springdale. Vincent Price, um, the late Vincent Price, well-known for his vocal work um, and some on-screen stuff too. National Grape Popsicle Day today and National Senior health and fitness day today as well. So there you go. And I, I see those of you checking in saying, hey, Jeff, you got some pools. Technically, you're correct. I do. But not the kind of pools that we can necessarily dive in or have cannonball contests in. We can sit in them, but we can't necessarily have father-son type of pool activities. That's what I'm looking for. I need a pool that's like eight to 10 feet deep so I can do my cannonballs. Anyway, I digress. Uh, all right, let's get over to the whiteboard. Break it down for you. For this Wednesday afternoon hump day, it is whiteboard weather. You know it, you love it. You want more of it. It is simply accurate. It is no hype, my friends. And we are brought to you again by Hello Bistro. That is the website, hellobistro.com. When you order online or through the app, again, use that coupon code WEATHER for $3 off of your order of $10 or more. That code is good any day and every day now through June the 6th. So you can order online today, tomorrow, this weekend, or any day next week, and you can get that nice little discount. Sunset tonight, 840. Sunrise tomorrow morning, 554, six minutes before six o'clock. Moon phase is in a waxing crescent. Expected rainfall, and my time frame here is 2 a.m. tonight through noon tomorrow. I think that's when most of the rain will fall. About a third to a half of an inch of rain. 
Should be fine. Don't expect we'll have any flooding concerns given the fact it's been pretty dry over the course of the last week in most locations. And for the month of May so far, officially the rain total 1.43 inches, which is a deficit of 1.8 inches. It looks like we're gonna end the month with below normal precipitation, something that hasn't happened much in the last six to nine months, a month with below normal precip. And you know how chilly the month of May started off. We were way below normal with our temperature. Well, we have made up considerable ground. We're now only two and a half degrees below average for the month. And uh, I think with another few warm days ahead, that number is gonna be close to two degrees below average before the month ends this weekend. Tonight, 65 degrees, a mild night with clouds. Showers will arrive after one o'clock in the morning. So. For all of your late day or evening plans, you will be dry and mild. Tomorrow, 81 degrees. I think most of the showers tomorrow again before noon. And then I think in the afternoon, there'll be some breaks of sunshine, which will push the temperature up to 81. It will be a little muggier tomorrow with the rain adding a little moisture to the atmosphere. So dew points will creep a bit higher tomorrow. Tomorrow night, warm and muggy, 66. We got a Mario Lemieux tomorrow night for our low temperature. Then on Friday, 79, a warm, humid day with the approach of the cold front that I showed you on the maps. That will lead to scattered showers, maybe a thunderstorm or two in the afternoon. That front will move through the area late Friday, Friday night. Saturday, again, a cool change, a refreshing change. 70 degrees, partly sunny skies, and Sunday, not necessarily pool weather unless the pool is heated, but good looking day, mostly sunny skies and a high of 68 degrees. So if you've been running your AC, it will get a bit of a break this weekend with highs of 70 and 68 Saturday and Sunday. So that's a look at your Wednesday afternoon whiteboard brought to you by Hello Bistro. Find them online at hellobistro.com and use that coupon code weather anytime between now and June the 6th to get that nice little discount on some delicious food. Um, so that's the weather information for today. You're good to go. Uh, I'm gonna remind you every day between now and next Tuesday because I think it is very important uh, that you are well prepared, not only for the weather, but for uh, the Pennsylvania primary next Tuesday, no matter which party you vote for or with or affiliated with, it's important to get out and vote. Uh, so be sure that you check in your municipality where you live, where the voting poll is, if you're voting in person. If you've already mailed in your ballot, you're fine. But a lot of polling places have been moved around and consolidated. So check it out ahead of time so you're not caught off guard next Tuesday when you go to vote, if you're going to the polls to vote. So check that out. Make sure you're informed and know where you're going next Tuesday because we want everyone to get out and vote. Exercise your rights. All right, that's going to do it for today. Uh, I ask, as always, that you please share Whiteboard Weather with the Facebook friends. The more you share, the more people join us every day. The more names will show up in the comments, the more people we have to interact and get the simply accurate no hype information love 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 to get more people involved with whiteboard weather and when you share more people become aware uh for those of you that sent some stars today as always i thank you for for that and for your support i'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning 7 30 a.m for wake up whiteboard weather there'll be some rain in the area at the time so we'll have a look at radar tomorrow morning and we'll again uh, give you any updates with the latest weather information. Have a great day, everyone. What's left of it? Get outside. Get the stink blown off you. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Peace. Have a good one.